guys, Shelby here. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So I just wanted to show you a quick trick on how I apply my dry nail polish strips. Now, um, I have heard it called the anchor method. There's many different things out there. You can Pinterest it, you can YouTube it. Find which way works best for you. Um, but I just love the trial and error method. That is why you get extra strips in here. <laughs> so if something happens or you mess up, no big deal. So I have pre-measured to make sure that this will fit my nail. This is Fort Worth, just love it. And then what I do is I take from this end, you can take from this end if you want, but I like to peel the top off. There's a top, clear part. You can see that there, boop, 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 boop. it protects it. And then there's the bottom paper part that it's on. So you can see that part right there, okay? And then there's this little tab. And this tab is so that you can grab it. Now you can flip it and then you can grab the tab that way to put it on. But what I like to do is I like to take this part, fold it down. Then I like to grab the little tab and then I like to fold the paper part down. So that way my thumb is touching the paper and the clear protectant. So that way your fingers aren't sticking to it, it's not making a mess, and it's not ruining the strip. And then what I do is I just take the tab off, very simply, and then now I have control over it, right? I can still use it, it's pulled back. And then what I do is I just match it up and put it on. And you wanna make sure you're not applying it to your cuticle and read the directions before you apply it on your set and do all the prepping, which I have already done. Okay, so now it looks like this, right? Now you have your scissors, you can cut it if you'd like, or you can use smaller scissors. What I like to do is, now that my thumbnail is long enough, I take it and instead of filing it across, I like to take it and I like to just pull it down far enough and then I take my thumb to the very end of my nail, okay? And then I just cut it with my thumbnail. So that way you still have a little bit of excess, but then you have this part right here left over, okay? And you can use this on your toes, you can use it on your other hand, and that is precisely what I'm going to do because I am doing an accent nail I am going to combine it with this set. So, so now that you have this side, I just take the top layer off and then I grab the very end here. So in instead of grabbing down here where it's gonna go on your nail, I still want it to remain sticky. So that way I'm not grabbing the stickiness part. And then I'm just gonna match it up to the very bottom. And boom, there you go. That is how I apply my easy way. <laughs> and then I'll just go ahead and take it and I will then file around it and smooth it out. So I hope that helps you guys. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below and I will answer them. Make sure you check out my other videos and make sure you stay polished and pretty.